and praise the Lord. Today I'm coming from Deuteronomy the 10th chapter and the 12th verse. It says, What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. You know, I was uh, praying this morning within myself, and and I just, I just heard this thought. We require so much of God, but we can't give God what he requires of us. We require so much of God. We want so much from God. There's so much we want God to do. You know, we want God to do this and we want God to do that. And we want him to open this door and close that door. And we want God to protect us and protect our family. Hallelujah. We want God to supply our needs. We want God, hallelujah, my God, my God, hallelujah, to make ways for us out of no ways. We have so many requirements of God. But we can't do what God requires of us. It says here, And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. Amen. He wants us to fear him. Amen. Just like you require things of God, God required things of you as well. Amen. And to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. We can't give God, amen, what he requires of us. Why should God give you what you're requiring of him? My God, hallelujah. He said if you abide in him and his word abide in you, you can ask whatsoever you will and it shall be given unto you. There's a requirement, saints of God, family and friends. God requires something from you. Hallelujah. Stop. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Requiring so much of God and you're not giving nothing back to him. Some of us don't even give God back the praise that's due him. Like he said, I healed 10. Amen. And only nine came back. I mean, only one came back. Amen. To give me thanks. What happened to the other nine? My God, what happened to the other nine? Glory be to God. Come on, let's do, hallelujah, what God is asking us to do. Let's serve the Lord wholeheartedly, whole mind, hallelujah, body and soul. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's stop trying to have a shack up relationship with God. Just shacking, hallelujah. Make a commitment to God. Make a commitment, hallelujah, to serve him. Make a commitment to do what he's requiring you to do. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God. And to know what God is requiring of you, you have to get in the face of God. You have to seek the Lord. You have to study your word. You have to see what the scriptures is saying. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost lead and guide you into all truths. But the, the thing is, and the main point that I want to bring across today is that you have so many requirements on God. You're wanting God to do so many things in your life, in your family life. You know, when your back's against the wall, you want to say, oh, God, help me. When you don't know which way to turn, you want to say, oh, God, help me. But why are you not giving him what he requires? My God, what he's telling you to do. Hallelujah. All he's telling you to do is just surrender your all in all to God. Hallelujah. If you surrender your all in all to God, he says, delight yourself in me and I'll give you the desires of your heart. He says, hallelujah, trust in him and he shall all so bring it to pass. God will automatically do, amen, that that you're requiring of him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you're doing, hallelujah, what he requires of you, my God, God will do what you're requiring of him if you would do what he's requiring of you. Hallelujah. I'm a living witness that God is a God, hallelujah, that will answer every prayer that you pray unto him. I'm a living witness that God will, hallelujah, come through, hallelujah, for you time and time again. Him. But God is saying there's something he requires of you. My God, hallelujah. I love you and may heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Glory be to God.